Now we know how to create a simple landscape using Unreal Engine and OpenLand. So we got this nice result. I made some uh, changes to the landscape and uh, it looks okay right now. Right. So then now I'm going to show you today about some of the things you need to set up on the environment like lighting, how to control some lighting and tweak the sky. So the, those are not uh, directly related to open land or creating the landscape, but uh, those are necessary to get a decent look from the from the beginning. Right. First thing is the sun movement. So you can press control and L at the same time and you, you can get this widget on the screen. And see, uh, let me get it back. So then I can uh, use the mouse to rotate the sun, keep pressing the control button. So then I can move the sun here and there. Basically, I can get the sun here. All right, then we're going to talk about the sky atmosphere. There are some things we can change on the sky. So that's, that's pretty powerful. So you can click on the sky atmosphere. Go to the details panel. And first thing is the ground radius. Right now it's on kilometers. Right now it's around, yeah, something like this, uh, 6,000. I think it's close to the earth radius. But in this case, this map is extremely small, so you can uh, reduce it. So I'm gonna keep it like, maybe, yeah, this is much better. Let me check. Yeah, I think this is good. Anyway, we can change this anytime. Right, then there are some things we can change the atmosphere. The first thing is really, so you can change the, this really uh, scattering scale. So basically it's the amount of particles in the sky. So basically if, if we don't have anything, so basically we can see the space, uh, but then we can increase it and we can get a, you can see, right, uh, very <laughs> alien kind of looking, right. And then another thing is me. Basically, this is the fogginess on our landscape. I can increase that one, so it will add some fog. So basically, maybe due to some smoke or maybe due to the fog and it will affect the sun and everything and we can get a really moody looking uh, with this. I'll, I'll put it back to the default. Other one is the absorption. So basically with that, I can change that and get a really nice uh, colors. So yeah, that's up to you to like decide uh, what you need. I'll put everything back to default, this one, right, so then we can, uh, we can move on. So now I'm going to add the atmosphere fog, which is really important when we, when we have a scene. Let me go to somewhere here. So we need to have some sort of fog to have a nice blend between the edge. You can see here, we can see a really sharp edge. So with a height fog, we can actually reduce this. For that one, I'm going to go my place actors tab and search for height fog. So basically this is exponential height fog. I'll drag it into my scene. So now you can see it, it actually changed everything. But before we work on this, we need to change some project settings so then we can get a nice result. Go to the edit and project settings and search for fog. Then you can see something like support sky atmosphere affecting height fog. Just enable that. Then it will ask you to restart. Okay, just do that. Okay, now we are back on the game. So we can start working on the on the fog. I'm going to go to details panel and select the height fog. And here we have fogs in scattering color. So I, I need to set it into black. So this is how it, uh, we work with the, with the sky atmosphere. And also here we have something here as well. We can put it back into black. Then I can tweak these two values, fog density and fog follow up to actually get a nice blend in between these two values. So this value should be extremely small, something like this. And then you can blend, uh, have this one, or maybe just, just tweak these values and get a nice, nice result. I'll put the sun back to the top, okay. Then I'm gonna come here and maybe I'll, I'll do something. Yep, now it's look good. Now I can see, I, I, I don't see any sharp edge. So basically you, you can tweak these values and get a nice, nice result. Now we're going to add a post-processing volume. We're not gonna do any color grading right now, but uh, it's important to have post-processing volume. So I'm going to place actors. I'm gonna search for post-processing volume drag it to my scene and then go to the details panel and select the post processing and search for extent. So here we need to check that then uh, our post processing volume affect 
fit into the global scene good right then we need to change some of the uh, settings then i'm going to look for exposure so here we have the auto exposure that's totally fine so that basically when you're going to like a dark area it will automatically fade out and uh, yeah it, it will work fine uh, but there are some of the things we need to do for example i can go here so it's, it's darker and it's getting lighter when i'm here but this change should be quicker when we are working with uh, locally so this is fine for a game but not good for actually not when you are developing your game for example i can see the sky and uh, it's totally bright it will take some time come here it will take some time to get a nice looking so we can change this by simply speeding up these values just just put in some high number and then you can uh, see it up see it up right yeah that's much better so if this is not ideal for the game but uh, this is totally workable when you're working on, on the locally right that's it and then i'm gonna go to my color grading and i'm gonna tweak a couple of few things which i personally like to do i'm gonna search for mid tones here i'm gonna check for gain i'm gonna reduce this a little bit so basically it, it reduces the brightness a little bit uh, not not that much we're not going to touch the too much on that this is uh, completely optional this is it and uh, let's see with some other tutorial